happy friday facebook how are you hola hola janet rangi oh have you ever been tired you just have too much to do until you say to hell i'm just gonna sit down and relax i don't care anymore that's where i am honestly and it's friday already obviously some of you are worrying about the green card too much and i'm getting most of your questions and every year i get these questions about green card janet i forgot to do this i put high school instead of college i put college instead of high school i forgot to put my kids janet and i don't know that to apply with my wife i don't know how to apply with my husband i did this i did that janet i'm so worried i'm wrong Whew, man so i'm here to tell you why you worried why are you worrying i don't think you should be worried honestly i'll come and show you my house okay I, have, I don't even sit on these chairs, but today I decided to sit and relax because when you have too much, now you have no choice. Look, <laughs> I, you know, I, I even need to go and sleep, honestly. If you ask me, I love you, I love you, I love you. You know, you worry too much about this, 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 the green card lottery. Okay, rightfully so. We all like the lottery, Divi lottery. You know what? Have I ever told you the benefits of the lottery? Okay. I, I think I need to send, I love all of you. I love you, I love you. I hope you can hear me. Janet is so tired. You know, she has so much work until she decided, you know what? Come on, buy and buy. Go, go sit down, go sleep, wherever. Then I said, you know what? Let me go on Facebook because I saw three questions. One after the other, one after the other. I said, no, let me just go and do this video quickly. Because you're worrying about the DV lottery 2024 and I'm here to give you reasons why you should not worry about it. Number one, you have options. Did you know American Embassy has woken up? Remember, I used to do American videos because you know Janet is in America. I love America. This is where I am. This is where I get my dollars. This is where my life is. So I used to do American videos. But anytime I will do Canadian videos, people would watch much more. I said, you know what? Sometimes you have to listen to what the follower wants to hear and so i started investing in uh, canada videos canada videos and most of you went to canada most of you you learned you started uh, doing your own research you formed groups you took plans now you're in canada some of you, you are all over the world okay because you, you you believed in yourselves and all those videos and for some reason some of us we started liking canada more okay and by the way canada still has its own advantages and I can tell you why I think it's still a strong advantage is because when you go there, you don't necessarily have to be a nurse to be a permanent resident. Okay. You can go to school. Okay. You can go into express entry. You can earn points. There are many other things you can do to get what permanent residency in America. I've always told you we have to be creative, but you know, the reason why you shouldn't be worried. First of all, it's a lottery. First of all, we don't know if we will win. If we win, Guess what? We have the DS-260. We will fix these issues. So we shouldn't be worrying as if now, just because we messed up, they will disqualify us. The system does not know the truth yet. They don't know whether you are married or not. They don't know whether you have children or not. They don't know whether your date of birth is correct or not. They don't know whether you graduated high school or not. So the first step is just to apply. And your goal is to win. You see? You see now why you are worrying unnecessarily? I, I, I'm telling you, I, someone told me, Janet, I'm having sleepless nights. For what? They don't know you yet. The only thing that will disqualify you if you don't follow directions. For example, they tell you picture should look like this. You put on glasses. The picture should not have shadows. You put in shadows. You should not apply twice. You apply twice. Okay. You should not, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, technical issues. But this issue of i forgot my high school i put in the wrong i, I put in a uh, 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 college instead of high school no 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 no. these are things you can fix if you win in fact no 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 janet likes being positive not if you win when you win you know sometimes words you say come out so you have to use the right words when you win okay don't say if 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 you are giving it a chance when you win you want to say when i win the green card so you see why you are worrying janet is here to tell you do not worry the system does not know the truth this is just the first step to give you a chance it's a lottery 
Janet, I have applied five times. I have applied ten times. It never happens. Again, it's the DV lottery. The word lottery is by chance. Okay, or maybe you are not doing the right things. But now that Janet taught you, you went and read. This time you did the right way. Okay, you follow directions. Maybe you have a chance. Okay, now, another reason why you shouldn't be worried. Honestly, you have options. You have options. America has woken up. Appointments have come up. Okay? Me, I like that uh, the, 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 the new system that is going on. And it's every country. I have a client from Ghana. I told her, oh, Janet, I came. I said, I did. I said, you know what? Janet loves data. Okay? So when did you start applying? Oh, I started applying in April and I got an appointment in, in, in August. That was a visiting visa. Myself, I'm helping my clients. Student visa. There's a, a day, in fact, I was making an application. And we got an appointment the next day, trust me, for, for student visa. I'm getting even two weeks. I'm getting sometimes three weeks. The latest is what we, we struggled a little bit and we got January 2023. And even with that, we still have five chances. We'll keep on checking and checking until something opens up. So now, there's no... You, you remember those days we were worrying and worrying and worrying because visiting visa was 2024. And what did Janet tell you? What did Janet tell you? America always fixes these things. Didn't I tell you? They always fix. And they are fixing. Now they are beating Canada. And by the way, don't underestimate Canada. Now they are quiet. They are going to come out even stronger. Okay? America was quiet for a while. But they were planning. Guess what? Now they've come up. You see what they tell you? Go and, uh, 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 what do we call it? Uh, renew your, your, your passports. Online. You do not have to come. Uh, face to face, so long as it expired less than four years ago. They are using people, maybe even in America. No, they don't have to have someone back in Nairobi. They don't have to have someone in Kampala or Dar es Salaam if it's online. They are using virtual. Now they are using technology. Technology has improved. Even some of us are applying for immigration benefits. Now we have accounts just like Canada. Just like Canada, I used to want America, we have to write pen and paper, print, go to the post office, write up a, a check, a money order, put in the envelope, post, I don't know, Phoenix lockbox, send to Vermont, send to Texas, blah, blah, blah. No, now you just go online. Now let me encourage you. Apart from appointments, you have options. Appointments are becoming available. Student visa, more appointments, okay? Uh, what do we call it? Uh, visiting visa, more appointments. And let me give you an example. Some of you have heard me use this example. <laughs> okay. I have a, a follower. Okay. Who listened to my video. The video is about conferences. And I will repeat this story again. He said, Janet, I'm in America right now. I say, how? Janet, I was listening to you six weeks ago. And you spoke about conferences in the United States. I got a conference. I walked in that embassy. I got a visa. Six weeks ago, I was on the other side watching your video. And I'm now in America. What is Janet saying? You have options. You have options. Okay? You have options now. You can just... Some of you are just listening to me now. And you'll come and give me a testimony and say, Janet, remember when you are sitting on that sofa saying you're tired. You love my house, eh? Yeah, show me love. If you love my house, I'll give you a house tour. And I, I, I don't even have to have a, a professional decorate for me. This will be my own original ideas. What I like. Okay? What I like. So you will see the house. You will see it. I love it. And I will show you around. So you can be here in two weeks. You can be here in four weeks. I'm telling you. I'm telling you it has happened before. So there is no need for you to worry about DV Lottery 2024. Okay, you just have options now that you've put it aside. And by the way, if you haven't applied, we have only five days left or six days. Okay, when is today? On your side, what, what day is it? November 4th, you have only four days left. Okay, and then now you are going to, to go back on the drawing board. You are going to think of visiting visa. You are going to think of student visa. You are going to think of uh, J1 visas. But already, and let me talk about this now that we are talking about that. Janet, I apply for the DV lottery. Should I apply for the student visa? 
you know should i apply for the student visa janet and let me tell you one day another again a follower this happened to a follower okay she won the green card after winning the green card she already had put her student appointment for student visa and guess what she asked me janet should i go and if i go will they deny me and if they deny me i mean if they give me what will happen okay actually she had won the green card but she had the appointment yeah yeah now i remember she had won the green card and now she had an appointment why do i share these stories because some of you ask me these questions you you worry that if you apply for a green card you can never come on another visa so i like using examples of real people so you know this one had won the green card and i remember her writing to me saying janet i have a student f1 visa appointment should i go or not because the visa will be processed next year and the appointment is coming up soon and i told her well since you already have an appointment go you have nothing to lose i mean my advice was risky i'm not a lawyer but sometimes i use common sense she went because i know even lawyers here i have someone on j1 the lawyer applied for him student a visa okay change of status to student and also applied for him visiting so i learned many things when i when i interact with many people i'm like oh so you can apply many many uh, benefits at the same time okay so now she went she went she went to the embassy guess what she got the visa and i had told her when you go to america or you, you come here to america this is home to the green card so they will not send you back home you will just change status you will do everything from america and that is what happened number one what is the, the the lesson there they did not deny her student visa just because she had applied for a green card number two she came to america and changed her visa from here true stories so now some of you who worry now i applied for the green card janet and now i, I will not be able to, to to get any other visa and that brings me to another point that's why you follow janet because you will learn a lot from data and from examples this one i don't know i don't even know their names but i have to share this story because i don't know who's listening and how it will affect you i don't know how this will affect you but it's my responsibility to share with you okay i have a client not a client but a follower who wrote to me okay they won the green card the interviews came they went to the interview obviously they were very sure the uh, consular wrote something gave them i don't know passports or whatever they went home knowing that they, they are coming on green cards and then they were waiting for the visa according to what this person told me we didn't talk but they wrote to me and then now the fiscal year closed and now they, they had resigned and everything and now they can't come to america now they are jobless and everything it just broke my heart and you know when i read that although it was heartbreaking you know my answer was apply for student visa Oh, but will they give us now that they think we apply for the green card? But what option do you have? You know me, I believe in dusting myself and just moving on. I'm not going to look at the severity of that problem. I'm just going to look for the solution. Number one, you have nothing to lose. Okay, this is a lesson to all of you. Resign when you're in the airport or resign when you have a visa. It has to be stamped. Although this story is not adding up. This story is not adding up because for me, if I go to the embassy, I will know whether I have a visa or not. I've, either they tell you expect the visa in five days. There's no way you can go and wait for months, months, surely, and you went for the interview. So me, that story didn't add up. But based on what I had been given, I just used the information they gave me. And I said, go apply for a student visa. I mean, what else can you do? Apply for a student visa. Apply for a visiting visa. Okay? So you cannot give up. In other words... Let me just tell you, most of you who worry about these green cards, that you cannot apply anything else. No, 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 no. They, they, they make it, they, they make a decision as a total. It's a total picture. Trust me, trust me. I coach people every day. They go in that embassy. These days, most of them are getting visas. Meaning Janet is even getting more experienced. Oh, they are giving more visas these days. Okay consecutively the last three weeks i've just been getting 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 people getting visas student visas specifically okay now don't worry too much about that and i've even given you my example of my own family i am a u.s citizen i filed for my sister 
okay? My sister went to that embassy. When they asked, have you ever applied for immigration benefits? She said, yes, my sister is a US citizen. She petitioned for me a green card many years ago. My sister was given F2. The husband was F1. Her and two children, they came on F2. So how can you say that they deny? My brother, my own brother, my youngest brother, I petitioned for him again. Okay? When he went to the embassy, have you ever applied for any immigration benefits? Yes, my sister is a US citizen. She petitioned for me a green card. She, he was going to the embassy with the wife who was a nurse. They got uh, green cards. So he has a green card through marriage to a nurse. Guess what? Her, his green card is still on the line, which I paid many years ago. So I tell you guys, when they're looking at you, yes, can that maybe give them an impression that your goal was to come? Yes. Are they assessing using one factor? No. Just the same way they will ask you about bank statements. They will ask you about these financial ties. They will ask you about all these things. But honestly, from what I've read and from the experience, they just want to know who you are. I always tell people, the people I coach, I say those three minutes, don't come out with that disappointment. It will go so quick. Those two to three minutes, two to three minutes will come out so quick before you know it will be out of that door and you'll be happy or regretting. So do whatever it takes. Do whatever it takes within those three minutes to make an impression. To make an impression because they are, they are looking at you. They say, who is this person? Can we trust them? Are they articulate? What is your mannerism? Trust me, they, 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 they know the law says to American schools, do not issue an I-20 unless someone has shown a bank statement. It's the, they know, it's the law. There is no school in America, come sun, uh, rain, come sunshine. If you're one of those who has evidence, a school gave you admission without a bank statement, call us, let's see. It will be miraculous. So they know. Do they even need that bank statement? They don't. Can they ask you to confirm if the stories are not adding up? Yes. But for the most part, they don't even ask. All the clients that got visas recently, to me, they never asked the bank statements. I've always known that. And I, let me be honest. Let me be honest. Even one of my clients came and told me, Janet, I heard you saying that. And one day I just went to that embassy. I did not have a bank statement. He cruised through. He never even carried that bank statement. They focus on you. You. What are you telling them? They want to know you. Don't you want to know them? You want to know them. They want to know you. So that is what they are focusing on. Okay? So this green card lottery, you give it too much power. And by the way, it's very powerful. If you are following Janet for the first time, consider following and liking her page and sharing. Okay? But let me tell you, maybe you don't know the benefits of a green card. Okay? Let me just enumerate them so we know why we like the green card. When you come to America, you will live and work here permanently. You will just come here. The green card will be the uh, the green card will be the mail in about two to three weeks. In fact, the passport, whatever passport you have, and the stamp, you will go to any employer. They will give you a job even before the green card arrives. You will go to the social security office. They will give you a social security number for you to show to the jobs. You will go to the motor vehicle. You get a driver's license. You'll go to jobs, they'll give you a job, you'll have health insurance, you'll have life insurance. You'll get loans to buy homes, to buy cars, to go to school, okay? Your children will go to school, they can get scholarships. All benefits that U.S. citizens get except voting. You cannot vote. So it's the best visa anyone can ever get, okay? The green card lottery is the best visa anyone can ever get. But so now, the DV lottery... We think like it's, you know, it's the end. No, it's not the end because we can get green cards through fiancé visas. We can get green cards through Janet has taught you EB1, EB2, EB3, EB4, EB5. Now you've heard Janet saying EB4, EB, EB3. Now it's becoming popular. Some of you used to hear nurses go to America. Okay, you just know they get a green card, but how you didn't know? Now you know. It's EB3. It's EB3, Okay. Now you know it's EB3. Speaking of EB3, I've been hearing people saying, oh, nursing assistants are going to America, EB3, EB3, EB3. And from the knowledge I have, EB3 used to be for people who have three years of schooling to four years and above. And I'm like, how can a nurse assistant, someone who has six months of training, 
go to, to, to EB3. At first, I thought maybe there was scammers or something. You know? But then I went to refresh. That is why you go and read, read, read. So I went and read my credible sources, of course. And I found out it's true. They were updated, skilled and unskilled workers. But the tricky thing is you have to have an American employer. EB3, you cannot file on your own. You cannot just come, okay? Some of you, Janet, I want to know how you're filing. No, these are things that need lawyers. These are things that need employers. It's not like you can just wake up, okay? And then you, 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 you file EB3. No, but is it possible now? Yes. Yes, it's, it's very possible now to get to, 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 to get any job on EB3 so long as the employer is willing to petition for you. All of a sudden, okay, yeah, all of you are becoming marketable whether you are nurses or not. You are becoming marketable, you understand? So now we are no longer just be saying nurses, 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 okay? No, 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 we are not going to say that. All of you are coming, you are coming, you are coming. Now I want you to start putting emphasis on American programs and I start putting... Uh, emphasis on American programs from now on because there is a time I really put okay I really put a uh, emphasis okay I really put emphasis on Canada and it you know I read a lot I watched videos and I used to give a lot of information canada.ca but that was not my home so I'm glad that my home America is starting to do good things so I'm going to be preaching America every day because this is my comfort zone. I believe in America. It has done good things for me. And I want to share with you the benefits of coming to America. Like many of you who are watching me now and you're just smiling with your dollars. You are smiling with your dollars in your pockets. Right? I know you. I know you. You are driving very nice cars. Eh? Some of you even thanked me. Some of you come. And then Janet even has found you. You know, not only did you come, you came and met your wife here. Now you have children and you have not even sent Janet a check. You're late. If you're one of those people who has followed Janet and you came here, not only from listening to her videos, now you're earning a lot of money. But most importantly, you have not even named your child Janet. You have not named your child Janet. What do you expect? You went and named your ch child Josephine. You went and named your, your child Eunice. And you forgot Janet. No, 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 no. We are not going to have that. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Okay, okay. I'm going to continue coming to do videos because sometimes I get lost too much. Okay, I get so busy. Even me, I get tired, my friends. But you know, Janet has given you a lot. And sometimes I miss you, I miss you, I miss you. I'll do some interesting videos. It's not like I disappeared. Yes, I disappeared. You know, sometimes I try to behave a little bit. They say, you know, like when you get married, you are not supposed to be affected. No one has stopped me from doing videos. But sometimes I feel like funny a little bit because I know like, oh my God, he's watching, he's watching me, you know. But I try to be myself, okay? I try. No one has stopped me from doing videos or anything. He has not said anything, okay? He has not said anything, but hey, I'm like, okay, maybe I need to be slowed down a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. But I'm not going to change. Janet is going to be Janet. And where I wish I had my phone, I would show you. I would show you his picture. Remember, I I warned you in advance that I will not reveal names. I will show you pictures, though. Okay, I will show you pictures because I I told you some of you follow me, and then once you see, you think like you can have better skills, and then you take away. No, 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 no. Men, close your ears. I'm talking about women. I love you back. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Okay. So now if I introduce, if you haven't seen him, go to my personal page, which is Janet Rangi. Anyway, this is, it's Janet Rangi. The other one is Janet Rangi. You will see him, but you will not see the name. I told you, I will just sit in my house. I will hide in my house. I'll cook mandazi. I'll cook pilau. I will do everything here. Fufu, garlic, okra soup. Everything will just be here alone, alone. No introducing people. No introducing people. I love you. I love you. Even you, I love you. Follow me. Okay? Okay? But I'm telling you, someone is saying, okay? Yes. Mercy. Mercy, I'm looking forward to my appointment with you. This weekend, I'm not sleeping. Friday. Friday night, Saturday morning, every day. I'm, as soon as you wake up, if you're somewhere in the Sunshine Continent, the first thing in the morning, you should be hearing phone calls coming. Because us will not be sleeping. 
Me, Joshua, and Josephine, we'll be on the phone calling you. I'm telling you, we have to answer your questions to the T and come to your to, to a resolution. Okay, that the good news we we call you and then we, we tell you where did you go to school? Are you married? You have children? What do you do now? And then all of us will discuss. You know, Josephine and Joshua have worked even in the airports. Okay, they have a lot of experience with visas and everything. Sometimes they will say something. I'm like, I I learned something there, you know. And then immediately they know your case. We go straight. Me, I know I have to help people with change of status. Josephine knows she has to start looking for schools here. Okay, Joshua knows what to do. So you know what? And and Sam is busy and Purity is calling me and saying, Janet is coming. Okay, Janet is coming. Janet is coming. Purity is just holding you and saying, Janet is coming. Okay. The other ones in, in Canada, you're just calling Bruce and Bruce. Uh -huh. Have you heard of Ashley? Ashley acted in Tahidi High. She came on these videos before. So we are coming, we are coming. I love your comment, by the way. Okay. Yes, I I I you know. You know, I, 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 you know, you know, I love you, I love you, I love you. So this issue, I, I, why, why, why did I come to the videos today? I came because of the green card. You guys are worrying too much and I'm here to tell you, you shouldn't worry because when you win, you'll have the DS-260 to amend it. You'll go in and update it and make changes before you show up at the embassy. Okay. Number two, you have options. Now the embassies are opening up. Now you have options on visiting visas, student visas, fiancés visas, all these benefits you have. Now embassy is open. You will be able to go to the embassy. Okay? In a quick time. Instead of waiting up to 2024. Okay? Number three, you know, oh, when you win. We are not going to say if you win. Okay? Yes, yes, yes. And then number five, I told you I will give you a, a nice how tour, a house tour. Okay, any questions, any queries, any queries, we say any questions, any queries, okay, I love you, I love you, I love you, Whew. I, I'm just tired, so I decided to sit on this chair and say, you know what, when you're tired, you just give up and just rest, merci beaucoup, muchas gracias, okay, kwaherini, uh, Asante ni sana, go in the comment section. The comment section is not just for Janet. People have gone in the comment section and actually come to America. Okay? Yes. Someone says, well done, Janet, but you never replied me in the email. I replied you. And I will uh, reply you. Okay? I will reply you. I try my best. Most of you, I try to reply. Okay? But some of your issues are long. And I can tell it's not a quick one. And when you come to me, when I tell you, call me or schedule a consultation, I mean it. Because the answers you get can change your life. Okay? Can I give you an example? And I'm going. I have a client. And I always tell you guys to come for testimonials, but you fear the hot seat. I have a client. Came for a consultation. Days were almost expiring. Okay? He's almost going on, on, on uh, uh, removal proceedings. And guess what? He had been lawyered up. He had uh, a, the employer, but they are just quiet. The days have gone. Now he's operating on extra time. COVID time. You know how they can give you COVID time? That is how he was operating. And I reviewed with him. We reviewed, we reviewed, we reviewed. And I said, no, take matters in your own hands because this is the last chance. If you keep quiet, they are not caring. If you don't care for yourself, they'll put you on remo uh, removal proceedings. About three or four weeks later, he sent me a snapshot. Your green card has been approved and it's on the way in the mailbox. A consultation. A consultation beat lawyers. A consultation beat employers. Okay, sometimes sharing with someone, okay, sharing with someone who has lived it, who has seen it. It changed from having sleepless nights to snoring. Do you see how these things work? And the green card is a lifetime deal. The consultation Janet will give you is a lifetime deal. It will be thousands in your pocket for life. It will be uh, opportunities for your children for life. Okay? 
So now don't see me when I'm tired like this. It's because I've been busy talking and talking and changing your lives. Okay? And the best you can do is just to name your children Janet. That's all I'm asking. You make it middle or you mix it. Okay? So if you loved your, your you like the word, the name Ivy, you can now say Ivy Janet. Or you can say Ivy Jeanette. Okay? I love you. I love you. I love you. Have a good weekend. Have a good night. Some of you who have consultations with me, you will hear from me. Let me go coach one of my clients. She's waiting. She's going to the embassy very soon. She's been calling. She's the one who called this. I told her, please call me when you wake up. Okay? The rest of you have a good day. I missed you. I love you. And I'll keep coming. Married or not. Some of you don't know Janet is married. She is. She is married. In case you didn't know. She is married. I am. I am. Okay? All right. I love you so much. Gloria, how are you? Why are you laughing, Gloria? Okay? Why are you laughing? I love you, Gloria. Okay? Okay, whatever. People are just laughing. But everyone is here, so I don't know, but I have to finish the video. I still have to finish the video and go. Okay? Okay. Tony Scott is like Janet Rangido. Come, they are sharing my website. Facebook is my home, so I'll keep on coming. Even if I disappear, I always come back. Okay? I can't wait to enjoy the weekend. This weekend, I'll, I'll enjoy and I'll miss you and I'll do videos for you. I'll do videos for you. Okay, okay. Someone says, Janet, you are hilarious. Yes, I am. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This ones, they know me. They know what Janet is there. You know? Next time, I'll put husband here. Habi, sit here and talk to these people. And then we, we will see. Okay? Maybe you will follow me more. You already follow me in big numbers anyway. And I love you for following. Okay? Yes. Someone says I missed, I missed you too. Yes, I miss you. Sometimes when I go and throw one word on the page, I'm like, oh my God, they are, they are probably talking in their groups. Have you seen Janet has disappeared these days? She doesn't come on Facebook anymore. Have you seen Janet? She doesn't come anymore. You know, she doesn't, where did, what happened? Is it because she got married? Now she's scared the man will be watching her. Now she cannot come on Facebook. And she's no longer herself. I'm, I'm still myself. I'm still myself. I have not changed. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, yeah, 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 Janet, I thought maybe she'll remain single for life. She can never find a man. Hey, she likes talking on Facebook. She cannot find a man. <laughs> I told you I'm very submissive. I can cook. I can clean. I can submit. And I, I, I proved you right. I proved you wrong. I proved you right. Someone says nice home. I'll give you a tour. Okay? Yes. Thank you so much, Janet. You've been so inspiring to us. May God bless you, Titus. Thank you so much. And Angelina, I love you. Okay, all of you, I love you. I'll come with more hilarious videos. How many put up your hands if you want to see Janet's house? Because all of you are saying Janet's a nice home. Okay, I'll, I'll show you the house around. Put up your hands. Okay, other than that, go to work. The manager will find you under the desk. Okay, but they're also watching. Even your manager is watching Janet Rangi. Okay, okay, I love you. I love you. Someone loves my smile. Thank you. Your manager is watching Janet. They want their children to come to America. Okay? They're watching. So don't worry. You're not alone. They're watching. Even them, they're watching. I'm just telling you. I know them. They watch. Hey, some of you are just arriving and Janet is finishing the video. Okay? I will see you in the next video. Okay? Bye-bye, guys. Love you so... Kwaherini Wambui Nganga. She's the last one. And Marjorie. Okay. Oh, they're saying hi. They're saying the hands up. Those are the ones who want Janet to show them the house tour. Point taken. Janet will go around and I will show you each decoration by decoration, one by one, one by one, one pillow. I will show you the color and the tint and the, and the, and the texture, okay? Then I'll go to the next, the vase. I'll show you the vase and what is in there, the golden colors and why I chose it. And then I'll go to the carpet and I'll tell you where I bought it and everything. And then I'll move to the kitchen and then I'll show you my fridge and why I bought the fridge and how it looks. And then I'll show you my wine cellar. I'll show you my king size bed and why I chose it. So many hands have gone up. Okay, I love you. I love you. Oh, that means you're listening to Janet. You see, that's why I love you. Sometimes I feel like I'm talking to myself. Until I see you responding. And then I, oh, they're actually listening. They're actually hearing what I'm saying. Okay. All right. Okay. I love you back. 
I'll do for you house tour, okay? Enough of you have said, Janet, I want a house tour. Thank you so much, Anna, and everyone else. If I didn't mention your name, I love you. How about I'll see you in the next video, okay, guys? I love you so much, and bye-bye. Yes, the house, you are right, okay? I want to be like you when I grow up. Mercy will be. And thank you so much for your hands up, okay? All of you, thank you, Caroline. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. Richard.